mind giving me some water? No! The burrow's thirsty. <laughs> well, what do you know? I never even saw a little fella down there. Sure, I got water for him. Uh, here, there you go. <laughs> Hell, that's a camel. So where'd you find him? In the desert. You just walked right up to you and said, how'd he do? Happens to me all the time. Is that the way it was, stranger? Yeah, pretty much. So, mister, I want you to, to quit squinting at me through that hole. And tell me what your name is. I've all read lots of classics. It's a friend of Hamlet. Well, hold on there. That ain't no answer. I what it is now. Hamlet's friend. Hamlet's friend. Mm. I remember. <laughs> Horatio! 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 He's the one they call Amen. Amen! Cactus Bear Prudence. A very voluptuous gal who never said no when there was money involved. A beautiful pair of pearl handled revolvers. A lot of men did their best to put their brand on her, but Prudence never liked the idea. Result? Cuts and abrasions? Cracked skulls? Castration? Mm -hmm. But I managed to get her into harness. And ever since then, why, I've been known as the Bradler. The Bradler? Yes, Angel Puss. That ain't the reason for it. You're the one who got harnessed. Why, well, Adelaide, uh, I assure you, I had a stable full of mares in my time. Well, you just better stick to women in the future. Why, well, Adelaide. <laughs> Some ladies are so good. That's as hard as my own 
feast. And so but you filthy so stupid could not be aware of their affairs. I'll parse it out. One for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. One for you, and one for me. Ah, uh, he is the only one who knows how to count. Silencio! One to me, one to you, and two to me. with your ass? Had a blowout. Huh? It went lame. Oh, <laughs> 
And now all we've got to do is find your saddle. steal or stealing more than you make? Didn't think I'd see you again. Particularly not this quick. I'm pretty damn disturbed about the way you ran out. It was my money. Uh, I invested it in the church. I beg your pardon? Dirty house of God, an inspiration to the faithful, an ideal site for the Lord's work. I met a preacher man, a Bandera, after the last bank job. He's a Presbyterian. Bad luck, bit by a rattler. He was in a lot of pain, couldn't last night. Yeah, so what? Well, so he gave me his cross. I made an oath to come here and to preach in his place. You might not believe it, but there wasn't even a church in this town. Yeah, yeah. Reverend Smith, our old Paul died with a safe combination still in his head. If you'll help us open it, we'll give the church part of the proceeds. One fourth for the church's good works if I open the box. Sure. Bring it inside. Yeah, There's a pin about here, another pin here, one here, one here. Always 
a joint in here. For sure, the lock mechanism has got to be inside here. Keeping yourself informed, Reverend? There was 8,000 in the box. Here's two, Reverend Smith, 25%. I'll go and find my own charities. Now, hold on a minute. Why don't you give up these dangerous games? Find a home, man. Save whatever's left of yourself or you wind up dead. Pretty soon we'll have a school here for kids. You're educated. You can teach them. Don't you find that tempting? No. I'm going to sell the church. <laughs> Today, nice fried chicken. No more red beans. <gasps> Hi, horse. Glad to see you. Get your sticky fingers out of there. I already paid you once, half pint. You didn't count on it a lot, I hope. Best suite in the house. Fresh laundered sheets. What the hell is that? Oh, my pet design. I found a method to uh, take one section of wall and create two suites, Townsgrove. Tell me, the school arm a guest here? Yeah, although I doubt she goes for that. Uh, Dolores, for example, is hot to trot. More your style, yeah. But if you want a special piece, um, I'll tell you what I might do. Send up some pictures. You oh, I just beat it. Yeah.
Two beers over here. I'm ready for me another. Looks like that old trick with the chewing gum still works, eh? <laughs> it sure is a pleasure watching my nephew work. He's the pride of the family, a regular prodigy, that's what he is. An artist. No, 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 son. Use the talc and slips him off a lot easier. <laughs> See me later. Where you got your glasses? Give me a bottle. to make war on little kids, do you, Mr. Abbey? Oh, oh, oh. 
I felt that old lady over here. I ain't seen nothing like that since the Buffalo Stampede from the center of South Forest, North Dakota, way back in 24. Hey, Buffalo, what's the matter? I left her on deposit. for your wickedness, I think you ought to take way into those savings of yours and make a contribution to the new schoolhouse. Yes, Reverend. Your real understanding, you are. My sin was stated. Violation of the seventh commandment might be a mortal sin or a sin of the flesh. Depends upon how you did it. Go on, describe it. I broke open the safe. Now, what did you use? Dynamite, professional tools, or just plain talent? Just plain talented. In that case, you're an artist for sure. What'd you get for it? A couple of thousand change. Uh, I'm very sorry, my son. But anything over two thousand dollars is a mortal sin. You're risking the taste of hellfire. And you're risking the taste of lead. Huh? I might have known it was you. There's only one man in Texas who can open a safe without using dynamite. You mean a safe in a saloon? Yep. Well, if the profits can be turned to good use, 
I don't see no harm, man. I won't argue. Where's my share? You making progress selling the church? It's nearly finished. Who you selling to? A fellow who wants to make it into a saloon. That's progress. A saloon? You're joking. That was quick. Not be boisterous, children. Now sit down and get to work. Lucas, come here. Let's see if you did your homework. Ashamed of yourself, do you hear? Doing such a thing. Didn't mean it for Luke. Who was it for then? I hope to trap a skunk. You know, there are all kinds of critters and things to trap in here. <laughs> now, quiet, children. You, come here. Let's see what you can do. A very simple exercise in arithmetic. You know your arithmetic. You know how to add, don't you? Oh, sure. Granddad says one and one makes sex. Well, I don't care to hear anything your granddad has to say. All right. I'd like you to watch this. Here we go. Now, count these carrots. There are five. Now, in this one, there are four, you see. All you have to do is put them together in here. <laughs> All right, five carrots plus four carrots. What is the total you see in the basket? Uh, seven. No, nine. Five plus four is nine. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I don't understand. Somehow there are only seven. That's just how I figured it. <laughs> I see you've learned to subtract as well as add. You betray her! There we are, a couple of canteens. Uh, what else do you need? Another box of cartridges, if you don't mind. Oh. Ah, well, that's funny. They were here a minute ago. So we won't get any arguments? Don't worry about a thing. You could wrap it up and ship it to Mexico. I had the permission of the highest authority. If you say so. Let's go. Yeah. I got everything you wanted. A Winchester and two cartons of bullets. A box of flour, a blanket, two cans of beans, some beef jerky and a canteen of water. Hold it. There are two rifles aiming at you. Now, you keep one hand on the saddle and with the other, throw down your gun. Go on and buckle your belt. I'm arrest you for stealing that horse. That's so. Uh... One Winchester, a gun belt, and a Colt Special unloaded. In these parts, we hang horse thieves. 
That's the law. Sheriff, I own that horse. Well, yeah. That horse was sold, but not to you. To Reverend Smith. Want to make a will? No. I'd feel better seeing Reverend Smith. Lock him in the cell and go call the preacher. I've got company for you, Professor. Need anything? No, thanks. One time I was interested in the insurance racket. I completed my college degree lawyer at that honorum in the study of banking. Oh, if I could assist you in any way that might require learning, I only ask part of the action. I'll say 25%. Oh, that ain't much. A paltry pittance. You see, I'm a vegetarian, and I don't like company much. I have one hobby. The solace of literature and of learning. Oh, my niece is far away. But she sends along all that I require. You seem to be a gambler. And you might be interested in taking a chance on something if I tell you I spent the whole of my life on it. It took a lot of imagination to care. I promise you $10,000. But it requires the help of a really talented safe cracker. Yeah, I better put you in your cage, Socrates. When I prattle on about robberies, you get all excited. I know you. Get in there. That's a good boy. Ouch! I need a manicure, damn it. You got ten minutes. Speak to me, friend. Why'd you frame me? Anything to do with your church, Reverend? Yes, sir. You hit it right on the nail. The sin of greed, my friend, doesn't pay. It can only bring you grief. And so that's what they've got you in the pokey for. Listen. You just better give all that money back, okay? So I can reopen the church again. And you'll be able to get out of jail. Be a real pity not to have you swinging from a rope, though. And what if I prefer a rope, eh? Wouldn't that ruin your plans? You wouldn't do that. I'll bet you ain't got the guts to hang. I'd like to rip you open to see. I'll bet you can't. Lord, just give me one more minute. an opinion, that's all. Oh, I see.
our discussion in it. All right, Lord. Time's up. So who won? You keep your church. You build your schoolhouse. I got a way for us to get rich. Did I bash your brains loose, boy? No, I'm all right. There's a safe with a half million dollars in it. Well, is that more or less? About half a million dollars? Oh, bless the Savior, that's a whole lot of money. Ah! <laughs> like the rock of Gibraltar, unassailable. Its mechanism has three separate locks. I have one key, the marshal has another, and the insurance company has a third. The alarm is a steam whistle. At night, we have a guard inside and another on patrol outside. It's possible to state that our bank is impregnable. New accounts, deposits, chief teller, gold and silver exchanges, two more tellers, and loan service. This gentleman will be happy to take care of you. Deposit. The road to glory is paved with gold, eh, Reverend? And the way to the bank is lined with thieves, son. Mm. And what can I do for you? This way, men. You two guard the door. The rest come with me. Sheriff. You're next, Mr. Wilson. I'll open the safe. Our first deposit of a half million dollars. A new record. Our organization's ready to ensure deposits of any amount in your safe, Thompson. You give me back that crack, you little rascal. I'll steal something out of your scalp in a minute. Give it to me here. Hold on. Wait, you come, come in here. here. What do you think, think you're doing? doing? Say what well, I don't want here. I've got you now, you thief. What's the matter with you? 
You set off my alarm with that shot. You know better than that. One, two, three keyholes to the safe. <laughs> You're the slickest kid in the business. Perfect, perfect. Beautiful piece of work. <laughs> yeah, you think we gotta put this in the bank for safekeeping? <laughs> you see this? I found this one on the sheriff. You better be careful, boy. You don't fool around with sheriffs and folks like them. If you offend the law, you might wind up doing a stretch in prison. The boy like you don't belong in a place like that. <laughs> yeah, looky here. That's mighty pretty. It says mighty pretty. I'd say it is beautiful. Best you've done. like yours is wasted in a town. Thanks, but your town ain't up to standard, you old scoundrel. Mm -hmm. Dang rheumatism. Mm. Hey, Grams. What do you want now? Listen. You know, I'm an artist. Huh? I say I'm an artist. Yeah, says you. I went in on the action, Santa Claus. Preacher Smith is a minister and a robber. Horatio is a gunslinger and a robber. You and your nephew look so dang pure, but you're robbers anyhow. Uh, who, Wes? I want to be a robber, too. Well, what do you think on it? Uh, at the moment, uh, finish that drawing of the bank. Then we'll see. The streets and the houses are scaled perfectly. You won't have any trouble finding your way around. The steam whistle's got to sound like an owl in heat, bitching and mean. A lovesick owl. I give him a horny bull and he wants a lovesick owl. Two days been working on it. Uh, I don't know, boy. All I can do is try. That's all I ever do, anyhow. Well, go find me now so I can finish this guy's contraction. I'll try, but they ain't generally meeting right now, you know. Well, you gotta find one and quick. Hurry up with it. At midnight. We start around here. First, I start changing the whistle to the sound of an owl crying. I move inside and uh, silence the guard there. Midnight plus six. We open up the bank doors with the duplicate keys. I take these tools, and with these, I can't fail. To break open the safe doors, I'll have to have ten minutes. Then Grandpapa takes over. And I get the owl signal going. It'll wake up the cemetery. Twenty seconds after that, I'll be waiting with the horses. Be outside in front of the bank. Three minutes to clear out, and then we depart at a gallop. And then Smith and me, the Reverend Smith, we'll cover while you make your escape. And all without any violence, with the aid of God. And Horatio. Almost midnight. Our relief ought to be here soon. Something in the road. Come on out. Let's have a look. It's an old man. What's the matter with him? Will you help me get him up on the porch? You bet, Reverend. Pass on. I ain't ready. This will make him feel a little better. You're pretty organized, eh, Reverend? What do you mean by that, son? Oh. 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 
Insert pin. <laughs> Thirty eight seconds, Gramps. A new record. <laughs> What's worrying you? You ain't backing out. The backing out? Oh, me? I'm fine. Insert pin three. Universal half. Hand me the lubricating tube.
on schedule. The watch I had was gold. Well, I changed the damn thing. The one you had didn't keep a time. You want it? Here, take it. Well, uh... Turn on the siren. Put some force in it. Beat it harder. <laughs> Sounds kind of rockish. It's all right, I guess. You old fool, that's a rooster, not an owl. You'll wake up the whole goddamn place. Blast it. Won't come loose. Give me a hammer. Are you worthless, chicken? What's the matter with you? It's the middle of the night. Knock it off or I'll have you for breakfast. Now, now quit it. Well, it's morning. I guess I better get dressed or else I'll be late getting down to the office. Hey, get up and make me some coffee. Uh, I don't feel like I got any sleep at all. You would surprise me if anything else happened in this bed. What? There ain't no owl. There's a rooster. We'll go to plan two. We'll have a house warming and fry the chicken for him, too. Now, you go set the fire to his. You better. And right away, too. And remember, I am your only, your only husband and master. And you gotta do as I do. God darn damn it all, it's such a pleasant dream, too. Let him back in with a hand. That damn rooster thinks he's an owl. I know you from someplace. Hand over the watch. Now don't run away. We'll have a nice little man to man talk. Hold it. Come back here. No. Ah, yeah, those two everywhere. Let's go, Marshal. No time to lose. Yeah, yeah. Come on, boy. Don't leave anything behind. Oh, all right, yeah.
Bring out the oil. Here, Junior, you were the one who got me into this mess. I think the mess is in your britches. Oh, Lord, allow me this act of self-indulgence. It's time to dissolve our association. With this. Throw down your ganges around that. Any bandits who come within a hundred miles of here are all under my jurisdiction. <laughs> I come to get my split. Fire. Here's the play. And how much is that? All of it. <laughs> Look who's here. Horatio, friend Amlet. <laughs> and Padre Smith. <laughs> Don't you recall the rules? You have to take off the pantalones. We'll part with all the cash. But the pants now. <laughs> that fiscal he breaks our backs. Pronto! Vamos, muchachos! Hey! Hey! Ha, 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 ha,
forgive the ways of silly old man. But I wanted to give my Socrates to someone who's a man of God. My niece doesn't have any feelings for him. She pretends to, but <laughs> a little water, please, Reverend. <laughs> and for Socrates, I want to leave you some money. The money, you say? Yes. Eight thousand dollars. My fee for planning the bank robbery. But why? I thought all those notes were counterfeit. Yeah, but there was nothing false about the three hundred thousand paid by the insurance company. <laughs> nothing small time about me, Reverend. A third part to the manager of the bank. A third part to the forger, the one that substituted the bank notes. And the rest went to that bright young chap. The one who gave me my eight percent. A real gentleman. A real gentle bastard. You talking to me, Reverend? You take care of Socrates. Of course. At first, I got to rip apart a certain man. There are other things in this world besides guns. There are such things as women also. My mother tried to explain that to me, but... <laughs> but with little success. Come. I want to teach you something. I'm going to show you my school. Oh. I'd like to learn. Ah, uh, yes. We'll soon see. And when Western Union puts in this telegraph office, Reverend Mulligan, I'd say this place is going to be a booming city. That's for dead certain. I can also promise you that this town will soon have an authentic pastor for its flock. We've had enough of this strong-armed preacher. Lord! Sit down! Strong-arm preacher, huh? Chicken. Ain't you been told that today is a day of abstinence? <laughs> Have you seen a ratio? Oh, sure, he's a number five, but... Wait. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's hide over there. Isn't you ain't never suspicious, nephew. Remember that. Sure, Max. <clears throat> hmm. Real bright at learning your lesson. 
In my part of the country, folks say a lover is smarter than a professor. Hmm? They have a lot of strange proverbs in these parts. And that's a strange name, too. Why do they call you Horatio? Because he outlived princes and fools. One day we'll have a proper schoolhouse. Uh, it'll be a real building, not like this, next to a saloon. And look, Reverend Smith gave me this blackboard. And uh, also these books. And, uh, and the abacus. Uh, Horatio, you son of a bitch! See you again. Check your guns over there. Yes. Hello there, Smee. I've been a bandit for a long while, and nobody but me and you know what I mean when I tell you people stealing counterfeit notes are no good stinking crooks. Oh, Lord, I'm taking a minute off duty. <laughs>
please, no more pain. was okay last time I looked. Pace, we're going. A monkey find the cash. Quicker than we could. We're not constructing any schools this way. But we're destroying saloons. Funny damn world. Try to find a better existence. Sheriffs are still sheriffs. Preachers are just preachers. Now what do we do? Go on being robbers. If not, how can other people know that they're honest? Ain't it the truth? Take the professor in his little cell. The point of passing on, the opinion as his remaining needs wouldn't look after his pussycat. You know what he said? I'd prefer you. Preaching makes it hard to like folks. <laughs> in the bedroom. The girl must have taken it. Yeah, hey, partner, wait a minute. We should take care of this place. Just look at it. <laughs> chasing the girl and Reverend Smith chasing Horatio. Yes, sir, love makes the world go round in circles. <laughs> Horatio! Horatio! Remember what I told you? Don't just go to ruin you! 